honestly, people always try to find an excuse not to be a vegetarian. <laughs> It's, well, a, it's an illness, you know, it's an addiction. Meat well, contains adrenaline and other yeah. fear poisons, and people get hooked on it. Mm -hmm. You know, they like the way they feel after they eat it. Because uh, it's just a drug. Yeah. The hardest thing, though, is quitting cigarettes. Yeah. Whew. Boy. That's, that's more addictive than heroin. Yeah, I actually, um, I smoked when I was younger. I smoked for about a good six years. Mm -hmm. And I, I must have been blessed. I don't know why, but it, I just quit because it was boring. <laughs> it's really, pretty boring. I, I was doing it because everybody, everybody else was doing it. Oh, well, of course. And at the time, I was just like, why am I spending my money on this? I don't care enough. So I quit, and I never felt the urge to go back to it. Huh. So. So it was, it was perfect for me. Cool. Yeah, that's that's intelligent. I mean. Well, they do say that that's the best way to get rid of a bad habit is when you become bored with your own bad habit. <laughs> they did actually tests in like I don't want to say Scotland, but I don't think that's right. With heroin addicts. Yeah. Like every time the heroin addicts needed a fix, they'd give them heroin instead of giving them like or some other alternative, they would just give them the hair when they wanted. And after a certain amount of time, these people just got bored with their own habits because they didn't have to steal to get it anymore. Like the fun became... Huh. Well, that's true. A lot of the attraction is the, uh, the tension of the separation from the object of your desire. You know? right. And it's like once you get it, you realize, hey, this isn't so great. Yeah. Right. What's the big deal anyway? You know? Yet here in America, we refuse to use that technique. We still give away methadone like it's candy, and then people are dying from that. Yeah. Overdosing on methadone, and they can't get Yeah, it's uh, it's got a lot of side effects. It's yeah. nasty stuff. Because people are trying to cure them from their addiction, people are bringing the drugs into the country. Yeah, and they're giving them something else to be addicted to. I mean, methadone is just as addictive. It doesn't get you high. It's just supposed to fix the Which I think if you're not going to fix it, But they say that, you know, being bored with your own bad habits is the way to get off. One friend in particular, she her heart stopped from using heroin, and she actually died for a couple seconds on the operating, or not on the operating table, but in the hospital, and and was revived, and was supposed to stay overnight just to be, you know, observed, but she left that night and was back to using it that night. It's like if that wasn't enough of a wake-up call, to, you know, if that wasn't a sign. Yeah. Well, plus, plus people then look at it as like, oh, well, I'll just be smarter about it this time. I, I won't take that much in any one sitting. You know, they they try and justify it in other ways. Thank you. You'll have a good time.
such a nice day. Um, I don't want to keep you too much longer, but um, as far as the readings go, I want to collect everybody's birth data and then we'll get together by web conference and do the reading, you know, at your convenience after I'm back in Mexico. Then I'll have lots of time and I can just sit with you for a couple of hours and look at your chart and I can answer your questions. So really what I'd like to cover in the next hour or two, is uh, the difference between Western astrology and Vedic astrology. The differences are very profound. The uh, biggest difference between Western astrology and Vedic astrology whoops, is, of course, in the, uh, the understanding of what astrology means. Huh? For example, Western astrology more or less assumes that the planets cause things to happen here on Earth. And that's a very misleading concept. Obviously, the planets are way up there and moving around in their orbits and stuff. And uh, what connection do they really have? What cause and effect relationship do they really have with what goes on in people's lives? So that's a misleading concept. We don't subscribe to that concept that the planets cause anything to happen on What's really going on is that time causes things to happen in our lives. And time, as we discussed yesterday, is cyclical and it's fractal. The patterns repeat over and over again at different scales. So when we look at time on different time scales, it appears to uh, be the same pattern. Huh? When we look at time 
in the planetary realm and when we look at time in the human realm, we see the same patterns reflected. And that's what astrology is really about. When we see <clears throat> the planets go through a certain motion, a certain pattern of movement, we uh, can recognize that as correlating with particular events on the human level. Uh, it's an empirical science. Uh, when Mercury goes retrograde, this is, here's an example. When Mercury goes retrograde, we notice there are things uh, that Mercury controls that go backwards <laughs> or that have problems, uh, like communication, understanding, agreements, technology, uh, in 